and the van breathes a sigh of relief. It's not used to being loaded like that. It's been it, it's been um, run by a careful joiner who pretty much kept tools and a bit of wood in it. So it doesn't know what's hit it since we bought it. But anyway, it's empty now, all the stuff around the back. I've just spotted this. We've been kindly sent this by Brick Buddy. So we're going to stick that on the belt and give that a go. Alex has not been wearing his belt a lot lately, so I'll stick it on mine and give it a try. Seems okay, it's like um strange, it's like solid plastic. It's very rigid, very light. Nice belt hook on it. Looks alright that. We'll give that a try anyway. But let's take you around the back. Um, what do you think, Al? Pretty cool. Yeah. Looks quite strong. It's yeah. strong going on, but it just peels off. That's great, That's isn't it? Yeah. It's a good. It's, like it's not going anywhere. Yeah. It just peels off really easily. That's good, that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. First time having a go with it. And um, been stuck to the van for the last few days. Yeah. It's, it's it looks easy clean as well. Yeah, I like that. There we go. We're all sorted. Grinder's ready for cutting out for the manhole. So we're going to mark out where the wall's going. Cut out for the new lid, which is going to go that side of the wall. Take the lid out, cut out this side, and bed a flag over the remainder of the manhole to seal it. Then we're going to bed two, two concrete lintels. One, two, across there, run across. That's we've gone down nearly three foot and put a load of concrete in there. And there's only a door going there. Yeah. But they, they know all this. I've told them. All right. It's going to carry the lintel. Um, bit overkill, but we like to do things properly. Better to be too much than too little. Exactly. And uh, Alex has got all the bricks in. The, uh, the bricks you've seen us have an absolute nightmare with the berries. We're all done with Alex, I'm sure they. That's, one of, that's one of the roofing ones through the ground. Now that is a good match. I know it's a good match because I recognise the bricks, they're definitely a maidly mix. And you see the little indents in them, they used to have little white, little white stones in them. And the, the old ones really used to have loads in, but obviously they've all weathered out. So it's going to be a good match. We could have gone for something like that, because the um, tradesman heather's there, but they'd have matched them, but not them, and we're choosing in here, so we need it as close as possible. So it's worth the effort. So today is um, up to TPC, lintels across, man all sorted out, get as much brickwork as we can today, pick up the trestles tomorrow, Acros and strong boys prop this lot up above the brick and edge, take all that out. Two big steels, we'll have to cut them to get them in the van because they're getting weighed in. And then, and then run across and we're going to drop it the course there because it had a, a little stud of top of the door there. So we'll put a, put a lintel and take brickwork over the top of it, get it all nicely sealed, and we're going to attempt to fit that door back ourselves. Um, so, because I wear the belt and you don't, you might see that and you, you might want to put your belt back on and have a go. It's not that I don't put it on, a lot of situations haven't demanded it. No. So, bloody hell, 25 to 11, that's a long morning that isn't it? Yeah. We set, what time we set off? About 20 past 7? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Barry swallowed a lot of time up today. But um, still okay, we're still on, still on schedule. Um. Yeah, that's it. Let's get a mix in and get cracking.
for that. But Another comment, please. Pardon? Another comment, please. Comment. Yeah, don't worry about more water. We'll go for dinner now. Sure? Yeah. Oh, I'll just hit One o'clock. Another frustrating morning, but we're getting there. I'll show you what we've been up to. No punishment for having a good day. Yeah. Yesterday. This thing's come out. This is a heavy duty one, this. Very heavy duty. Look at the rust on that. The manhole's full of rust, where it's rusted and dropped into the manhole. That's out. You can see it's all footprint. It's all footprint there. So now we've we come across here with our 4x3s, bedded them in, put a, put a mortar joint between them so there's no smells coming up. Now we can run across with our brickwork. This needs dropping a bit, the brickwork, so we can get a, a flag into that into the level of the concrete and then patch the concrete up either side. We've, got, we've kept all the hardcore from yesterday to go in there for the patching up and there you can see the lid. So that lid's getting bedded back in and we're just going to march that, that top of that. So. It's not much of a hole, but it's still access, and you should still be able to rod up towards that, towards that soil pipe because that's all that comes in here. It's just a branch for the soil. And considering that was uh, completely sealed up and unopenable, it's just lucky that didn't block because if that blocked up there, there's no way of getting that unblocked because you can't make a rod turn corners. Well, maybe you can. I don't know. Not the old push rods anyway. So. There's access again now, that's been sealed for 12 years. But it's, it's clean enough, wasn't it? Clean enough. Yep. So, um, yeah, we're set up now, we've got our levels, we know where we're going. Alex is just getting the mix knocked up. And then uh, once it's all set out, the um, two courses on there up to the door. No, sorry, yeah, two to the door. So that's our door level. And then we're going to put DPC on a course higher for here. DP There's no DPC in this garage. No DPM under the floor. No DPC in the walls. So we're going to put our DPC a course higher so it's in the proper position. And then we're not to the door. So once this brickwork's gone off tomorrow, we can actually fix that door onto this pillar and build up to it and build it in. So that's a, that's a quick update. That mix is nearly ready, so we can um, get set out. And um, I'm going to leave Alex to it and I'm going to go and pick up the rest of the sand. Pick up the board we left at the steel's job and the acros. Um, yeah, that's it. See you in a bit.
Right, we've started. Brickwork has started. Lintels are in, flags cut on the back. It's not bedded yet, it's just temporary so we can move it. Um, that, bit, that red brick there, that needs cutting back. It's cutting out so we can patch this floor up to the door. That's damp course level at this end, because there is no damp course. But it does need a damp under a plastic door, so we've raised our damp course level at this end, so it's a bit higher off the floor. Like I say, there's no damp course in the garage, so at least our bit's got it in. Come around this side. I've shown this before, but that's ready for the lid to go back in, but not doing that yet. I've got a piece of board, MDF in the manual, to collect all the crap that's fallen down there, so there's no rush to get that out yet. And um, we're on 73mm brick, which I'm sure you'll agree is a good match. Worth all that extra effort this morning. These ones have just got dust on them. So, because we're on a 73mm brick, your tie wires don't work. So, if we come around the back out, we've marked our gauge. We've marked our gauge for the block work. Uh, so, every time there's a mark, we know where our tie wires are at. So, if you notice, we put them in the perps. So, what, gonna, what you do is you, you twist. Twist your tie wire, uh, is it 45 degrees? Yeah, 45 degrees. And because it's a nine inch wall, put a curl in it like that. And then just sit it in your, in your perch. And that, when your block work comes through, should be just right. Right height and the right depth. Normally on a nine inch wall, your tie wires are on an angle, so they're not really doing much. But they're all nice and straight now. So, that's it, we're, um, we're using this motor up, tidying up and then going picking more stuff up this afternoon. Um, what are we picking up? Um, board, isn't it? Acros. And maybe sand board, cement. Maybe sand cement. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the, another thing, look. On your toothers, don't leave your toothers till the end. Do them as you go. Because as you can see, get your, get your tuck pointer, what else do they call it? Tuck pointer. I can't remember. But anyway, just push it in. Whack it in as you go. And you can see as you're pushing it in, it's coming out there. So you know it's going in tight. Um, that's not us by the way, we're just following what's there. That's it, just keep whacking it in. And there's no danger of splashing your face with it either. So that's, that's full now, cut it off, full joints, and notice they're all done. Another little tip for you there. There we go, end of a challenge, another challenging day. One day I'll start a video saying we've had a, a nice easy day. Anyway, as just showed, showed you all this bit before, so that's what we really got up to. We've used one mix up, so we've got it all up, set out up to DPC, door set out, wall set out, man all all sorted. Uh, so tomorrow we've got the brickwork to finish. This section, those steels have got to come out, the brick and edge have got to come out all getting bricked up, new lintels going over the door, all the cracked bricks coming out, up there I think there's about eight, and they've repointed, um, yeah, brickwork, block work, we've got to fit the door, 
which um, we've not done before but we'll, we'll tackle it and patch the floor where we've cut out so bed the flag in, patch the floor, bed the new animal cover on so we've still got a lot to do but we've we lost a lot of time today we lost an hour on these bricks but as you can see that extra effort was worth it because it's a cracking match so it's going to look smart when it's done it's going to be watertight and it's going to be safe which are all the things the customer wanted so we're off now to pick up acros and a board we left on a previous job and then uh, we'll see how we get on in the morning see you tomorrow morning no flies on us what time is it mixing 10 to 8 10 to 8 we've got here at bang on half past practically yeah we've, uh, we've got a lot to do today we've got the rest of the brickwork to go in block work to go in steels to come out pa uh, patched up and pointing to do that yeah patch the floor we've got a lot on our plate today I think, I'm, I think I'm coming in tomorrow to pack this up with slate so we're going to leave the acros in overnight. The, the, the brickwork ones, I think, we'll probably take the blockwork ones out. They'll be all right today. Yeah. So, and I'll have to fit the door tomorrow as well. So today is mainly get all the brick and block work done, which is going to be a bit tough because it's mainly faffing around today, getting the acros in, getting the trestles set up. But mix is almost ready. Not even eight o'clock yet, so. They've got the whole top row to repoint as well. Yeah. Let's try and put Here we go. Um, what are we on now? Like 10 to 10? Nearly 10 o'clock. Quarter to 10. So, yeah, we've, um, we're up to here. Trestle's height now, so we'll get the trestles up, get up to the steel, and then we'll start taking out the brickwork above. Um, actually, Alex, we'll, put the, we'll get up to the steels before we put the acros in. Yeah? Yeah, there's no rush to get them in there, is there? Not really, no. They must be in our way. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Trestles up. Brickwork up to steels. Prop. To get all that out. Um, yeah. And then once we get up to there, while I'm fettling up, the, up outside here, Alex can jump inside and get on the block work. It's all loaded, ready to go. 
So about to time up for a bit again. Right, trestles are set up, brakes are loaded, motor's loaded for dad. My job now, get the blocks up. I've marked my uh, marked my gauge, so I know where I'm going. So I'm just simply string a line up, and the wall ties are in, ready to uh, ready to get screwed in. The imaginary wall ties we never put in. Yeah. Yeah. So there's the evidence that they are in. And there's our tear wires. So. Yeah, let's hold those to it. Let's get cracking. Right, after lunch rec recap time, the, uh, the wheels fell off a bit this morning, late morning. Um, I started taking bits out, the top ones are fine, but we've got one, two, three, they've been patched up, repointed, they came out, and then I had one, two, three, four, five to do here. So I, as I'm taking the, the, the crack bricks out from the centre, the two at the side snapped, took that one out, they snapped, took that one out. Took that one up, took that one out. So that's that's took me longer, and it's also put us in in crisis with the bricks. We need more bricks, and the bricks are from Leyland, which is an hour and a half round trip from Berries. So the plan is, well, we know we're not going to finish today now. So the plan is net is to get propped up, steel's out, or at least this steel. So I'm going to do all that, all the bashing down and everything, while Alex carries on with the block work inside. Which he's doing well on. Of course it's never easy, but it's come along nicely. Um, so once Alex gets up somewhere near lintel height, we can prop in here as well and take the block, take the, this steel out. So we'll get an acro there, acro there, an acro there, so we can we can prop it, we can prop every block if we get an acro on each joint. That one's tied in, so that uh, one I could grab them two, them two, and then two. So that'll, that'll prop up nice. So he's going to plod along in here, and I'm going to plod along out here. We're going to drop this, these trestles now because they're stupidly high, but we had them that high so I could reach up there to the window. Didn't want to do it off a ladder, so that's sorted now. Uh, I've got one more to take out there. There's a crack one up there which I forgot to take out, but I can get that way even the scaffold's been dropped but um, we don't need to be this high it's a bit it's horrible working up there so if we go back on time lapse while we get this dropped and uh, get ourselves organised Right, Steve writes on the radio, so it's just turned two o'clock. I've managed to get all the uh, brick and edge out. Alex has cracked on with the uh, block work. So, steel's loose, we just need to get it out. So the plan is, 
lifted out onto the ladder there one of the rungs well one of us runs down to the bottom and then lowers it down it shouldn't be stupid heavy it's like shorter than the last one we did in half the depth isn't it yeah so um yeah we'll film this let's see what happens That was heavy. Yeah, right. And any, and I'm sure most of you watching this video will have seen those comments we had about um, rust isn't rust isn't destructive off that clown we had in the comments. Well, look at this. These steels were put in with no cavity tray. And look at that. This is the inside one. This is this is anything trowel, junta, hammer. So this is probably on the back of that seal as well, but this is the inside one. That is knackered. And this is the worst spot where this is. This is where the worst on this is. You can see that they're bubbling up there. Top. That's all it needs, a little look like that. You lift the back of the house up. But that's gone all the way along, top and bottom. So all this is lifted and basically it's split the extension in half. The crack goes from the window, comes down here, down to where the worst of this rust was. It's usually at the ends it goes, but this has gone in the middle and lifted up like that. So this is all out now, a lot more bricks than expected, so go back to berries in the morning. Uh, this is coming out tomorrow now, we're not going to get done today. That's out, so we're going to get these, these, get all this one, two, three, four course of brick in now. Yeah, so that's it, um, what time is it all about, quarter to three? Twenty to three. Twenty to three, so just got to drop this off. Take that out and put our, our angle iron in there after I've double checked the measurements. So yeah, um, we'll put you back on time match for a little bit while we get set up. Your expression's summing the day up. <laughs> hey? I don't think my box is too high, does it? No, it's watching me alright. It's two metres with a seal.
good at all. In the pool, 47 centimetres to the second point. And it's a one in the pool. The survey for EG found a 68% reply to work emails on the following day and 22% using the pool. That's really good. You've got it quite hard to do that. The irony is. So close and yet so far. Um, it's about half four now. And we nearly got there. Just made a start on the all the broken bricks. We've got one, two, three, three left, and we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got three, and we need couple of splits from under the door so we picked 10 up so it's off to berries again in the morning they open at 8 so we'll be to get there about 10 to 8 ready for uh, wacky races get our bricks and get straight back down here and get into this so we've got the we've got the that little bit of patching that bit of pointing and where the acros are we're going to put bang some slate in not that it'll need it tomorrow when that pointing's gone off it don't, won't need it but anyway I know people would rather see slate going in. That bit's all done, that's all dry. So this, the whole fracture right down the centre will all be fixed. It will be watertight. New lintel, we put a miniature tray under it. It's only going to step up three inch because it really made nine inch damp. So it'll go from the angle line onto the 4x3 concrete lintel. But it's, it's doing the job. Um, yeah, that's it really. And then once that's done, We've got this to come out, 
4 by 3 concrete lintel to go in and of course a block and a split looks like across the top so we'll get all that propped up tomorrow when we take the macros down um, and get it all patched up hopefully get it done in half a day fingers crossed and there's there's some bricks if we hadn't used the face brick on that bit stretch there would have had enough but hey ho so patching to do flag to bed patching to do same on the outside there's still plenty to go at so Saturday back on Saturday morning so see you tomorrow